This is Robert Eleanor. Eleanor just died. She was oh, I was supposed to mention her. Mm -hmm. uh, Joan, she died, I think, didn't she recently? Yes, that's yeah. April. But she. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm losing my mind. So I. Uh, but an hour ago, Joan Casarano said, Now don't forget to tell Betty about Owen and Twitchell. Um, Augustuson, I should say. Uh, yes. I, went, I remember going to their wedding. That was at the Dow place. Esther and I were yeah. in the wedding. You were in the wedding. And I guess her mother and father had rented the Dow yeah. place for the yeah. summer. Yeah, they did. But that marriage lasted 65 years, which is yeah, very right. well. Well, you see, there I was. I, I couldn't have been very old. I'm, I was only about 10 years old when that happened, you see, when I took the picture of it. She was married about 1940, I that think. Was a that was a joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is Harold Hidden here. I don't know where I got those pictures. That's, isn't that my scrapbook? I think from Elizabeth Hidden. Oh, yeah. 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 And also this from Betty Sutherland. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, yeah. And that's Harold Hidden, yeah. Moses' father. I have another page, too, Betty, that has Fred in a basket. With Elizabeth Hidden, they're tiny in yes. that clothes basket up there. I had not seen that picture. Who's the pig picture? Who's this? Is this a spot now? You can look and see what it says. I guess so. You know that they're, some of them are Twitchells and some of them are Steels. I've seen this one before. Well, of course, mother was a Twitchell before she married. Mm-hmm. It says Twitchell twins? Were there twins? Yes, Robert and Ellen are Twitchell Oh, twins. okay. And he died fairly young. And she's the one who just recently died. And she's the one who just recently died. Those, that's a picture of the twins then. Yes. Yeah. I think it is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, that's a picture of them too. Right. The Twitchell twins. Probably Elizabeth Hidden with them. So the Hiddens and the Steels and the Twitchells were friends? Well, when Mother and Father moved here, they had an automobile, and the people you knew were the ones within walking distance. Mm -hmm. So the Hiddens were just down the road? Well, yes, you know the big house that Ken Hemingway owns? Mm -hmm. That was their house. And the Twitchells rented the two upstairs rooms and they shared the kitchen for quite a few summers I think. Mm -hmm. So we used to, we could walk down there easily. What other neighbors did you have in this area? If you had the Hiddens? Well the Hidden Automotive was started much later. Yes. We didn't have that at all. No. We had Sam Barnes and his house in Burn. And he had nothing but the barn. He and his son lived in it. They lived in the barn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the barn still there? No. No. That's no. uh, just below Sam Hidden's garage. It was right in that corner because that was... Yeah. Yeah, because he used to go visit his friend um, uh, Gallup, Walter Gallup. Oh. And he came down the Old Town Road, which was close right... Well, Sam Hidden built his garage right in the middle of the old town, mm -hmm. yes. I think. But anyway, it comes out by Cooper's, mm -hmm. and then goes diagonally across the town woodlot there, and then goes down the Hollow Hill Road. Oh, I didn't realize that. Out to the, remember the Osgood place? Uh, yes. Well, the road goes down there, and... To and, Millbrook. Yeah, and the abutments are still in where the bridge used to be. Yes. And then he'd go up and to the right there, and up on the hill there and visit Walter Gallup. And oh, I didn't know it did that. Yeah, and then well, Walter Gallup finally moved down and built the house where uh, the Weirs live now. Oh. Tom Weir. And that was Gallup's house. Oh. Yeah. But his old house there, Charlie Thompson, uh, at a Christmas party or something rather than they been what was left of it. And the town got all excited about that because the firemen couldn't get there. He never told anybody who was going to burn it. They saw all this flames coming up on the on the mountain, though. <laughs> but that had a lookout tower too, because uh, I remember seeing the 
Oh, the moon that had a lookout tower. Well, up on, um, on um, Wallach Alps, he had a, you know, a wooden one. I never knew him at all. Well, I remember him vaguely. Um, I knew more of the people in the early 20s when I was at school and yeah. college. So you used to, did you used to walk to school from here, you and Fred? I didn't have any school buses. I never rode a school bus. Mm -hmm. Well, the school was up the top here, too. Well, I went one year here, yeah. and several years down here, and then we moved to Maine, and I went to high school there. Mm -hmm. Was Ethel Berry the teacher? When you were I never had her. You didn't have her? But I she, don't she know taught up here, I know. I think that was after. After you? We'd been there. Yeah. That but was. During that the was... 30s when we were post college age. Uh -huh. I was class of 34 in college. Well, probably. And she yeah. was. Uh, Fred was class of 33. Hey, Fred got a big honor, didn't he? Uh, they named that science building over there after him. The science building? Over to uh, White Mountain School or whatever it is. Same oh, did they? Yeah. Didn't I give I you a thing? I think I heard, yes, I think I you gave you a brochure. Tell me that. Wendy, Wendy went there, and so mm -hmm. she get, she's on the mailing list. And so. Uh, uh, he was a teacher when they were yeah, raising he was, money for yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they would. Mm -hmm. um, so where was the school located up the hill? Right where the Four Corners is. Oh, right there. And there was a, there was a building was right where the parking lot is now. Mm -hmm. I always call that that pond the one that's uh, the one that you get bitten in there. I call I always call that schoolhouse pond. We always call it the duck pond. Yeah, I know what. I yeah. think now on the maps it's Heavenly Pond. Yeah. Do you uh, want to tell us about when you were bitten, Betty? I don't know if anyone has taped you telling that story. No, I don't think they have. I think it would be interesting <laughs> if you could want to tell us about well, that. Uh, we used to go to the duck pond. I used to go to the duck pond in the regular driveway that went in. Mm -hmm. And I'd take up my clothes there. And you'd go swimming with nothing on because there weren't people around. And the beaver had a nest, I think, on the island. And they'd been there for some years. They'd apparently given it up. So I gathered from something I read. And the otter took it over, I guess. And that year, I swam nearer to the island than I ever had. And the otter came out. And what I think is, it was trying to drive me away from its young. It clawed me mm. with its teeth. Mm. And I went to the hospital, that's what they feel. So, and I had my dog and Esther's daughter was Milka. A squeak had died then, you see. And the two dogs. And I got back where the dogs were. I swam as fast as I could for shore and walked on the shore to where they were. And the otter stuck her head and looked at us and growled. <laughs> wow. And how many bites did you have? 27, I think. Oh, my goodness. They got one leg, all the back of one leg. But I think she was just protecting her young. And I think what she was trying to do was drive me away from the young. I don't know. That's unusual for an otter to attack a person, right? They attack canoes quite often, apparently. Oh. Well, people don't usually swim in places that otters like. Mm -hmm. But you said nobody but me ever swam in back That's up right, in that pond. <laughs> we should name it after you. <laughs> <laughs> and you got then you had to drive yourself home? Well, I drove down to here. And Mike Poser was here, and he took me to the hospital. And how old were you at the time? Oh, I was well grown up. <laughs> that wasn't so many years ago. No? I was 50 or 60 or something. Oh, I think, yeah. I, I remember you talked about it on the radio one time. Oh, yes, of course. It was a, quite a story, because it was unusual. Very. <laughs> the, I was the auto lady. <laughs> well, I was given Sam Coble got me that a lot of that. This one that's holding a clamshell to his breast. Oh, and the corner there. The yeah. otter and this was <laughs> a river otter, presumably. And did you swim there again? 
No, I haven't been there since. Swimming since. They've done quite a bit of lumbering and have rebuilt the dam. It's the only near as attractive. But they thought it was important that the road might get washed. Mm -hmm. And so I haven't been it really been in that much. That's a great place to see Moose, or was a few summers ago. Yes. I, one, I saw one summer I saw 14 moose, so not all at once, but oh, you did? 14 times I went up there and saw at Goodness. least one moose. And I always stood up uh, in the back of the dam. So it's, have you been up there? Because it is, to me it's an awful strange thing to walk up there and the water sort of up in the yeah. air. Yeah. And so, uh, but I, one time I was, I could see a moose across, all the way across the lake. Yes. A pond, and he spotted me, I guess, and and he could wait. He waited all the way across. I don't think he had to swim because uh, it was so shallow. But he waited all the way across, and, went, and I got in back of a tree, and he went right by me. Oh. But all from the other side, it, I guess it, he was wondering what I what I was doing there. Or something. Moose could be fairly dangerous if they charged yeah. you. Yeah. Because that horse yeah. would cause a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. What what were some of your favorite walks, Betty, that you used to take in Tamworth? Because people oh, would see you everywhere. Yeah. I never walked except the place where I could let my dog run free. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a walk on the old land, a road that goes down to a bridge that they built across the brook. Mm -hmm. And oh, I had loads of different walks. One of my favorites is to go up to uh, that spring, Tilton Springs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then go round and you come to the McCrillis Path. Yep. And you go down the McCrillis Path till you put the Ruby Lane Trail, mm -hmm. and the Ruby Lane Trail is the bottom, mm -hmm. and back up to Tilton Springs by the Pasture Path. Yeah. That's I think that was probably my favorite walk. That's a nice loop. It was a nice loop. Yeah. And you are on a lot of different property. Right. Yeah. But I always took the dog to where it could walk without the leash. I don't think it's a walk for a dog walking on a leash. Mm -hmm. I think they need to be free. And I always went where there wasn't traffic. You went on the snowmobile trails often. Yes. Not in winter, maybe, as much as the other seasons. Yeah, I went the snowmobile trails some. I often walk, uh, well, you, you know where the fire wardens used to be here at the house burned down, in the height of land there. Yeah. And there's a snowmobile trail that runs through to what well, amounts it, I think. Mm -hmm. I often walk there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. But you could tell there weren't, well, the snowmobile was already there on weekends. I lived here a long time, I retired in 1975, so I, you know, I lived here after Mother died mm -hmm. for quite a few years by myself with my dog. And about 11 o'clock in the morning, we'd always go out somewhere and walk. You told me a story one time how um, you were walking, maybe in South Tamworth, and a young couple saw you and they were worried about you. Do you remember that? Oh, that was down uh, near Heath Park Bar. That's where, yeah. And that was when I finally, I heard these men calling to realize that somebody was worried about me. And I came out, Chris was there. Uh, they had an ambulance, police, and rest of the guard. Chris, I think, was one that told them that I was interested in nature and I was probably in there on a nature walk, which of course I was. And they were sort of apologetic when I came out of the woods. They didn't <laughs> spoil my walk. I didn't walk as far as I wanted. I was looking for a Rodora, right, I think. <laughs> they, it was just for the bit of time. That's right. That's right. You were perfectly fine. <laughs> but that East Pond Bog had some nice plants that they yeah. knew about. Mm -hmm. And it's in part in Effingham, part in Osby, I think. Mm -hmm. Right. But that was what that was. That uh, was the only time I've seen Chris lately. I saw him. He was at um, 
Charlie's funeral. Has he got a wife and children? Oh, well? he's got. <laughs> he, no, he doesn't have a wife now. He's been he's been married three times.